Welcome to the video that will demonstrate how to download and install XProctor. But before I do that, you may be wondering what XProctor is and why Midway University uses it. Well, we utilize XProctor as our proctoring service for online courses in order to comply with and maintain our accreditation. This is important for you, the student, and the university as a whole because we can continue providing the best possible academic services. We only monitor certain exams and assignments, so not all assignments will be monitored. Your teacher will inform you which assignments or exams will require XProctor. It is also important for you to know that XProctor is a free service for students. So let's dive on in. These are the system requirements necessary to run XProctor. If you have a Windows-based computer, you need to have a minimum of XP. If you have a Mac-based computer, you need to be running at least Lion. You will also need a webcam, decent RAM, and an internet connection. So downloading would be the next step once you have all those system requirements met. This link will not be clickable, but you will be able to find the link in the link section of this orientation, and you will also be able to find it on our website under IT Help. This is what the download page for XProctor looks like. If you're using a Windows computer, you need to make sure you are downloading from this top section here. One, download Adobe Air, and two, download XProctor. These numbers indicate the order in which you need to download and install these software packages. You must install Adobe Air first in order for that download and installation of XProctor to go smoothly. So first, let's download Adobe Air. Click Save, View Downloads, click Open, and then double-click Adobe Air Installer. So, as you can see here, I already have Adobe Air installed on my laptop. This might happen to you as well. If it does say that you need to install it, follow the directions on your screen to complete the installation process. If not, just hit close. Then go back to the web page and click to download XProctor. Click save, view downloads, and open. Then double click XProctor. You will see this application install screen appear. Follow the directions to complete the installation. Once you have completed the installation of XProctor, this box should appear. If it does not appear, go to your desktop or your start menu and find XProctor and open it. Then this box should appear. The first step is to type in your student ID or your Proctor ID. Your student ID can be found on your student ID card. Then you want to select Midway University. Finally, you want to type in your password. Your password will be the first four letters of your last name plus the last four numbers of your student ID. For example, if my student ID was 1045784 and my last name was Robinson, my password would be ROBI5784. Group and subgroup can be left empty. The only time these two categories need to be filled is if an instructor instructs you to. Once you have finished installing XProctor, the next step will be to update your profile. So updating your profile involves accepting the agreement, uploading a photo of yourself, and changing your password. The first time you log in to XProctor, you will see an agreement window. This window will have two buttons. Select the Update Profile button. A window will appear where you can change your password and upload your photo. In order to change your password, you need to type the new one once and then again to confirm it, then hit submit. A small window should appear stating update succeeded. Next, press the silhouette to update your photo, then click done. It is important to know that your photo needs to be a reliable representation of you. It can be taken from your built-in webcam if you would like, but we ask that you not wear a hat or sunglasses. And we also ask that the picture is taken in good light. We recommend taking the picture between 24 and 30 inches away from yourself. Here are some examples. The top are examples of pictures that are too dark, that are not centered, and that are too close. We ask that none of the pictures you upload to XProctor resemble these. The bottom has good examples. They have excellent lighting and are the proper size. We ask that you upload pictures like these. Once you have uploaded your photo, you are finished. You can exit out of XProctor. All you have to do is go through this process once. You do not have to do it again. Anytime you need to use XProctor, all you need to do is click on it, run it, and log in. Then it will monitor you in the background. 